Hey everybody, it's John Swartz with Miller and we're here at Mars Cycles in Anaheim, California. And in today's application, we're gonna be talking about how we incorporate Miller's arc station, in particular the X pattern and the clamps into um, being able to, to, to weld something that typically is, is rather difficult to position and, and get yourself into a good weldable spot. Mm -hmm. So Casey, why don't you explain how you, or what you're doing and how you're gonna incorporate the table into that process. Well, we're uh, designing a prototype handlebar. I've had some requests for some more Apes, ape hanger, I guess, style bars. <laughs> it's not my thing, but um, so I, I want to kind of make more of a, maybe a taller bar, kind of ape hanger style, but a little bit of a Z bar, old school Z bar style as well. So we're going to use the arc station for that, and it's great um, for prototypes because we know the table is flat, gives us a great surface to tack and weld on, and we also have these great clamps that help us clamp and measure off the clamps to make sure all of our um, angles are correct. Okay, Casey, why don't, you, uh, then why don't you show us how you're going to do that then? Okay. So this is what we're starting out with. Um, all of our handlebars start with a, uh, a laser cut piece. It actually acts as our triple trees for our bikes. Slides onto the fork. We have a machined tube up top that slides over the steer tube. And what I've done is I created a Y pattern here that will be the base of the handlebar. I went ahead and welded um, the Y pattern to the top tube and the bottom plate. Yes. What we went ahead and did was we clamped the uh, left side of the handlebar down, and what we want to do is uh, mirror the right side. So we're going to take our measurements off, our, off the left side of the handlebar as it's clamped and go ahead and clamp the right side of the handlebar and tack it together. So I have my handlebars clamped, and we're going to go ahead and tack weld the uh, right side. So Casey, okay, so you got everything all tacked up, and uh, I think it's pretty important that, that we point out that um, this isn't the normal fit-up you would have in your production bikes, Oh, correct? not at all, yeah, this is definitely a prototype, and uh, yes, we do have quite a bigger gap over here. We'll use a little extra filler to fill that in, uh, but again, it's a prototype. It works for what we're doing to get the right angles, and then we'll use this bar to, to make our production bars. Off. Okay. So we have half of the handlebar done already. You can kind of see where we're going with it. I went ahead and added the throttle body. This is going to um, encompass the throttle and the brake lever. You can see it's a smaller tube, kind of tapers down at the end. Um, again, this is a prototype bar, so we're still working on it, but you can see the difference between this bar and our normal bar that we usually run. Um, again, a little taller, more of old school Z bar style. I'll tell you, we've had a great time here in Anaheim at Mars Cycles, learning a little bit about uh, you know the bond speed and, and, and the wheel production. And uh, to be honest with you, Casey, I don't think you're going to be getting this one back. All right. <laughs> Wait, all right. Oh, <laughs> my